let us not be enslaved by our mobile or cell phones. At this very moment, in the National Youth Day 2019 here in Cebu, just a few minutes, we are asked by Jesus to focus our gaze on Him. Ilang minuto, kailangan natin lang bigyan pansin ang ating Panginoong Jesus. Mahal namin, Panginoong Jesus, nakilala ka namin sa pamamagitan ng imahen ng Santo Nino. Almost 500 years ago, naging alay ng Espanya sa Pilipinas, tanda ng aming pananampalataya. The Santo Nino is a gift of God to the Philippines, a symbol of our Christian faith. And at this very moment, we thank you, Jesus. Here in Cebu, all the young people who are gathered here, they are your gift to the church and to the whole nation. For that, we thank you for your great love because you were once like them. You are young and young forever. So three things that Bishop Paul would like to share with you. First is, in our own journey towards the National Youth Day, we have experienced that Jesus is our companion. Si Jesus ay ating kalakbay. Kung sa Cebuano dialect, si Jesus ang ating pambansang bay. Isang bay na kalakbay natin sa buhay forever. And as we thank Jesus, thank you for all the sacrifices, the blood, the sweat and tears that our young people in their preparation, not only the national level, on the diocesan level, on the parish level, the local organizing committee, and the Episcopal Commission Secretariat. We thank you, Jesus, that through all of this, walang hadlang ang paglalakbay namin dito sa Cebu. Maging meron ka mang earthquake, meron mga na-delay ng flights, kahapon merong sunog, kaisa ka namin, Panginoong Yesus, ikaw, ang aming tanging kalakbay sa buhay. You have been journeying with us and you are, will always be with us. Kalakbay namin sa buhay. Thank you, Jesus, for being our companion, being our own by sa buhay. And the second, my dear brothers and sisters, in our readings today, we are reminded of the Last Supper. And Jesus would like to tell us that in our journey of life, Siya ang pinapay ng buhay. He is our food of life, the bread of life, ang pagkain natin sa ating paglalakbay. On our journey, He gives us Himself as our food by His Word through the sacred Word of God that we heard in these days, through the sacraments, the Eucharist, the sacrament of reconciliation. Jesus gives Himself as our own food on our journey, the bread of life, pinapay ng buhay. 
that sustain our walking with Jesus. If Jesus walks with us, He sustain us by His Word and by the sacrament, especially the Holy Eucharist. So we thank you, Jesus. Now we believe your presence that you yourself offered and even sacrificed yourself on the cross. But what we see now, what we witness now, is the glory of your resurrection. That every time that we receive you at Holy Communion, it is you, the risen, who is victorious amidst death and all the challenges of life. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us yourself our food for the journey. And lastly, my dear brothers and sisters, after all the experiences that we have had in this National Youth Day, and we ask ourselves, what's next? Jesus is our mission. Siya ang nagsasabi sa atin kung ano yung susunod na hakbang natin sa buhay pagdating sa pamilya, sa parokya, sa diocese, lalong-lalo na rin sa lipunan. And may we remind ourselves our mission in this year of the youth. Meron tayong sinasabi na Mission 3L that we have to reach out to the lost, to the least, to the last brothers and sisters. Isipin po natin yung mga gustong makarating dito sa Cebu at hindi nakarating. Isipin din natin po at makiisa tayo sa mga nasa lansangan ng mga kabataan, yung mga naliligaw ng landas sa pamamagitan ng droga, kuminsan mga krimen. So sa lahat ng mga nasa kulungan at bahay pagasa, may we also at this very moment be united with our indigenous youth. So lahat kapatid, sana ito'y magbunga na pag-uwi natin, isa sa buhay natin, ang buhay at misyon ni Jesus to really be a witness of His great love and to tell all the blessings, the graces that we receive here in Cebu. So this is what we pray now as we gather all our hearts, our experiences, we give thanks to Jesus and ask Him that may He continue to walk with us, to sustain us, and to show us the way how to live and share in His life and mission. For that, Jesus, at this very moment, we offer ourselves, our hearts, our families, our communities, and may we include all those young people who are not with us tonight. May they also experience your love that truly you are a companion, you are food sustenance, and your life and mission is our life and mission. Salamat po, Panginoon. Salamat sa pagiging by namin sa buhay. <laughs>